Hello out there and uh, welcome to my channel. This is in fact my very first built combustion engine. A four stroke gas engine and as I recall I built it in 1985. I was very inspired by an English built engine called Crossley when I built it this engine. The Crossley engine was located at a friend of mine on the island in Denmark where I live and the Crossley engine was dated to about 1895. My engine is not a copy of the Crossley engine. There are quite a few differences if you compare the two engines. For example, the Crossley engine had a side shaft connected by means of helical gear wheels to the crankshaft and was connected and operated the valves and the flyball governor at this end. I was not able at that time to make helical gear wheels, so I made two straight teeth gear wheels and arranged long push roads to operate the exhaust and intake valve by means of two rocker arms. I have taken the gear wheel cover off to show that only one cam operates the exhaust and intake valve and the breaker points for the high tension ignition as well. This handle is a valve lifter handle. The breaker points a bit difficult to get in the camera but I think it's visible. And as mentioned the engine has high tension ignition. The breaker points has a wire that goes into the hollow base where a ignition coil and two batteries are situated. And from the ignition coil is a wire that's connected to a spark plug. In fact, it's a homemade spark plug, but it seems to work okay. And yet another comparison between the two engines. The old Crossley engine did not have high tension or low tension ignition. It had hot tube ignition with a burner, often a gas burner, to heat the hot tube all the time the engine was running. The gas engine must of course had some gas to operate on and I have mounted a gas tank on this side of the cylinder instead of having beside the engine somewhere. At this end we have a gas refill valve. I use lighter gas and this is the gas valve for the pipe connection to the carburetor or gas air mixer. The carburetor or air gas mixer is in fact as simple as it could be. We have a adjustable needle valve for the gas and a valve for the air gas mix. These old gas type engines often had a rather long stroke compared to the piston diameter. And often the stroke length 
was more than twice the piston diameter. This engine has a bore of 20 mm and a stroke of 42 and it's a bit more than twice the piston diameter. The crankshaft is made of one solid piece of steel not constructed by several parts and it was quite a lump of steel to machine because of the long 42 mm stroke and it meant a lot of chips when machining the crank crankshaft. Let's try to start the engine. I have the ignition on and I will open for this gas valve. A few suctions. And adjust the needle valve a bit. Perhaps. Yes, it's nice to see the old engine running again. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.